Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis. We are in North Carolina on Season 12. I'm also in the Derry Longhorn because he has the high saddle fitted. Now, I'll show you the task and where we're at. It is essential semi-trailer and we need to get that thing, which is, I think is unique, all the way from where we are in Oviro Hills. It's up here. And we got to get it down... Where have we got to get it to? into this rail yard that is getting very congested with all my trucks it is full on busy in there and I've set the route so we're going to come out we're going to utilise my new shortcut since we've cleared the rubble from it in the middle I could have gone across here and along the road but I want to use this to see how good it is why not it'll be no difference in time probably along here now the hard part is probably getting this semi trailer out of its location and I don't have a crane However, I did park over here a Mac Defense, and he does have a crane on board, so if I do need to utilise him, I'll jump into that and bring him round to assist. That's kind of where we're at for this. I am flying solo today, just due to lack of time probably to get everybody in and up and running. I have work this afternoon to do. So, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I think it's time to wake him up and get in the way. Now I'm noticing I've only got 287 litres of 400 fuel. Oh, and I did have my support, support vehicle there that GT was in. Right, tell you what, I'm just going to pull it forwards a wee bit. Let's put my engine off. Quick changeover. And the rain stopped. Isn't that nice? Hopefully... GT will not have used up all the repair and fuel in this thing and I can utilise it here first of all oh yeah it's absolutely fine, good to the dairy, yes how much damage have I got? 57, it's not a lot I suppose right, stop that and refuel from the oh it's only got 32 left ok well, we'll take that and what else have they got lying about? He's got 147 left in him completely. We need to get him back, so I'll leave him with that. The Voron, yeah, okay, that's what we're going to have to go with. Just back this guy out a little bit away, in case we're back in here. That should do. And change back. Right, 318 litres. We do have potential, if I open up the map again... We've got a fuel truck, the White Western Star, somewhere in this collection of trucks. There's a White Western Star with fuel add-on, and we could always bring him out to the main road somewhere as a backup. Right, anyway, so I'm not concerned. Right, finally, we'll get on the move. In my trusty Derry Longhorn. We have still got so much to do. I was looking around a few of the maps. Never mind getting everything back to the garage and tidying up to finish season 12. But oh my, I've got a lot of work to do. When I first started this season 12, I wasn't quite so aware of the quantity of jobs to do. And it's been so much better having co-op assistance to get things done and dusted like a big contract done with just three or four of us mostly three to be honest but that has made such a difference so these little jobs I can do on my own are quite handy I say on my own I might actually require assistance for this as well the way I go okay good I'm going to try not to take any damage since I'm nicely fixed new shortcut. Can I drive off the rails if I can get off them at all? That might be easier and better. Come back to that contest at some point, I'm sure. For 100% completion, I will do.
Yeah, this is going to be so much quicker. We're done with clearing a few more of the rocks, but hey, not complain. Get off the tracks if I can. Definitely a good shortcut now. And it's quite level for a good bit either side of the tracks instead of it being quite steep sometimes. I've had that before in other maps. Ooh, a bit like that there. Right, good, go. The rain is back on. That didn't take long to... Well, we didn't have sunshine. We got sunshine, but we didn't have a dry day for long. Not to crash on the bridge. Eighty-five miles per hour. I think I'm actually almost doing that. <laughs> Service. Well, kind of forgot that guy was there. Not that many trucks dotted about. Doesn't carry fuel though. into the mud. Now, I believe this trailer has caused problems to some people if it's the right trailer I'm thinking about. Just the way it's situated in the ground. Ooh, okay. That's a nasty route. That needs chopped up. I probably shouldn't chop up. Just put some more earth on top of it. Don't want, don't want to kill the tree. Quite handy to be going this way actually because I get to scout the road for difficulties or any nasty little sections because this trailer's large, shall we say? I'm hoping it's going to be a fairly decent road, much like what it's coming up right here. That's if it stays like this and what we've just been through, we'll be fine. And then the hardest part is just getting it out. Three. I've not had to use all-wheel drive yet, so that's quite handy to know. I've got that little bit of extra traction if I need it. Right, here we are. Here we are. Right, I think to begin with, I'm just going to try and pull it this way from a heightened area. Let's get everything on and break on as well. E Probably it's going to have to be this one. Whoop. That connect. Reverse. Okay, that's sitting nicely. I might even be able to reverse down to that and get connected. But, don't have much room with that rock face there to play with. But I suppose it's worth a try. How did he get that down there? Really? Okay, let's get turned probably on this grass. Sorry, Bush. Oh, the rear wheel steering of this dairy is so handy. Careful. Ease under without knocking it over. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Up there. Connected. Right, okay. Now, what I'm thinking is, have we got any winch points? Not really. So close to that tree, though. What I'll do is maybe... This one to this tree just to assist. Right, low ratio. 
Power on, handbrake off, and tool. Handbrake off, I said. Why am I going that way? Don't know what was going on there. Come on, heave. Here it comes. Here it comes slowly, maybe. I don't know what's hooked. Something is hooked. No, here we go. Maybe. Waggle that steering. Oh, here we go. And we're possibly even out in one go. Look at that! Vanilla trucks. And another recommendation for the Derry Longhorn for this job. That was... That wasn't even too bad at all. Once I'd unhooked, I think, one of the support legs. Oh, don't destroy the... The floor. Oh, now we are cooking. We're going to have this done in no time. Unless I crash. We're not going to crash. Right, if they all will drive back off again, don't need that. So this is a five slot. Is this a unique trailer? Because it kind of just looks like the low boy. Wide flatbed, three axle semi. Hmm. Either way, it's one less job to do in the future. There's the main road there. Like, watch the routes again. Superb job, well done, Derry Longhorn. The good thing is we're going to end up down at the railway yard, so that's where my fuel is, so I don't need to worry about bringing a truck to me. I'm going to end up down there anyway. on trucking. Oh yeah. Okay, and we can take... Wait, hold on a sec. Urgency stop. Now, we can take the railway line, I presume. It's kind of six or two threes at this point. No, we'll, we'll, we'll not go that way. We'll, we'll go the main road. Just in case it's tricky to get in at the railway yard at this point there, but I've just got to swing around the corner and get it to the back. I'm going to have to clear some trucks out of the way, I think. Okay. It'd be nice if they gave you this trailer and we also had a reason for wanting to use it as opposed to just ending up with a trailer that's just a job no real purpose behind it yeah I forgot where to go through here that's why I should have maybe taken the shortcut but this will be fine put that corner and kind of straight line the rest No problem whatsoever to Derry. Okay, there's more fuel trucks. So let's grab some fuel while we're going past. Because I will forget. 916. Take it all. 400, good. 
might be able to get squeezed through there. Look at them all. I've got such a job of tidying this lot up. There we go. Coming in. Breathe in. Oh yeah. Job done. Essential. Now that's, to me, quite the word. Essential. That means we need it, but I don't think we do. Anyway, engine off. Essential semi-trailer. That's better. Thanks for your help. You know what's an even better idea? If you take it up for yourself. I don't think it will give you any trouble at all. Thank you very much. Okay, 3,200 cash, 310 XP, and we gained the trailer. Great. Another thing to return, and it's massive, so I need to get it out of the way. Let's just kind of, like, shimmy it around the corner. Park it here. I'll need to get that yar shifted as well at some point. The, where's a good place for this trailer? Right. Um, I'm never going to get around that corner at the angle it's at. Okay, we'll leave it there just now. I can always juggle it about later. Right, that went rather well. So, I have got so many things to do. And because I didn't think that was going to go quite so well, I'm unprepared. So I will be back in a sec when I found a suitable job. Right, I found something. I'm back in the GMC, just on the other side of the same rail yard. Because just a little bit more was a job I started and it involved the Lodestar. Let me bring up the map. So here we are down at the rail yard and the job involved just a little bit more. And we had to get the Lodestar up here. We did that with the Tataran. So, Lodestar's in situ, but we need to get vehicle spare parts. And now that we've got the rail yard warehouse available to us, we have vehicle spare parts. So, handily, that's what we're going to do. So, I'll load them up, and we'll go along again, our new shortcut. And then I'll probably, yeah, I'll go, I'll follow the main road all the way around and up. In fact, let's set a little bit of a route because I could easily miss the junction after we go past the cabin production we're going up there and round okay and the GMC well I'm in the GMC just because he's closest to the box I didn't want to shimmy out the, the bandit which is fully functional now so let's use this guy nosy on forward go cargo that's not cargo cargo management is that one Vehicle. Yeah, vehicle spare parts. We only need one of them. Excellent. What's that? Back it out. Oh, this guy's not being fixed or refueled. Uh, okay. He was last in and not being serviced. Well, I'll get him back down. It won't take too long. Well, I am thinking 151 liters of fuel. Ah, we'll be fine. There's wishful thinking. Right, let's go. The GMC was good for getting on and off the tracks if I need to. Run over. Oop. Let me slidey. That won't do the suspension much good, but it's working for me. That that is actually driving quite nice on there. Oh, big boulder. Oh. Pick a couple of wheels up on the on the track itself. Ooh, ah. Okay, that's not easy to do. Right, this big bit of concrete caused me damage before. Not twice. Beautiful day. Look at the big radar dishes up in the distance. That's so cool. And the fact you can actually go up there as well. That's one thing this game is actually quite good at, is the view distances are pretty decent. If you're in a high point on a map, you can virtually look across the whole map. And the detail is there. I mean, it does get a little bit easy, but they would do in real life at distances. Anyway.
and then a ball wheel drive, high ratio, bit of no problem at all, body cone. Here, don't need anything out of that. No cabins, no nothing. Nice drive in the forest. What's up, sir? Be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, that's so true. Body bush just happened to be in the way. Another fallen tree, go down that. A rickety old bridge, I probably built that. going rather well as well. I do like it when a plan comes together and another job's going to be ticked off. There you go. Your little load star. Get that fixed up. You'll have a cracking car. Hey, no, that's not what I want. It. I want it. I'm in the wrong box again. Going alongside them. That's better. Cargo management. Bye bye. Vehicle spare parts and old star. So that was just a little bit more. Now we can return from this vacation. You have my gratitude and a nice little bonus for your help. So we got 4,300 for that, 440 XP. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just bring this guy back out again. I'll get him back down to the rail yard in my own time. You've seen how easy it is. It's not a difficult drive by any means. I'll just block the road for a bit. Engine off there, handbrake on, or he'll roll away maybe. Right, so that was easy enough. Oh, solitary trailer, what's that? Is that the job that I was just doing? Ah, right, yeah. Clicking off and back on makes it disappear. I thought it was a new task appeared there. Right, now slippery slope was the other one, and that's what the 5070 Paystar was sitting here. That's not my truck at all. And I could maybe even just get that delivered too. While we're on a roll. Why don't we? Let's pick another truck. What have we got down in the rail yard? Let's just jump into anything and see what we've got lying about. Right, not the White Western Star, the Pike. Maybe a little bit small for pulling the 5070. We've got a Mac. We've got, in fact, we've got two Macs. In fact, we've got three Macs on this map. It's just crazy. I don't want to start an engine. Stop that. I want to change truck. I want to change truck again. It's just I'm jumping from truck to truck. I can't reach. Okay, let's go to Mac Defense. Actually, that would probably be the better Mac to choose because he's just out in the middle of nowhere, right? That'll do. Perfect. Oh, he's got no fuel. Okay. Okay, back it out of here. What box was that for? Is that a job still ongoing? Let's put my engine off while we suss this out. That was fishing, was it? Fishing festival number two. Okay. I haven't even done the fishing festival number one, have I? No, I haven't. Okay, right, we're just going to head back up to the road. So, from here... All right, we'll cut down that one and come along here just to open up. On the road. Pick him up. All the way around. Fuel is going to be the issue here, so I might have to bring my White West and start over to refuel them before we set off. I don't think, although I've got the generator here with fuel, it's getting up here. That's going to be the problem. So, I think we'll get the Mac up to this point and we'll bring around our White Western Star fuel truck. 
I'm going up there. I need to get turned. Let's go forwards. I'm not driving his decking. Out you go. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We have got next to no suspension left. Hmm. Okay, well, the White Western Star fuel truck that I'm going to be using is also attached to a service trailer, so... Or a maintenance trailer. No, a service trailer, not maintenance. So, I'll just bring the whole lot and get them fixed. Might as well. That's if I make it that far, to be honest. I've got the roof rack still, so I'm not completely out of fuel. Like evening's drawing in already. I did get the time back to one o'clock for this la the last job there. I might have to do that again for this one. A lovely little drive. You don't crash into big rocks that don't move. Yeah, no hidden hazards on this route, it would appear. Just pick your favourite, I suppose. A little bit muddy at the beginning. Yeah, just need a good summer. That'll dry up no time. Right, there we go. I think I'll just park on the road ready to go. Bring in the White Western Star right next to me and stick him off the road, though. I'm in the mud over there, that'll do. Perfect. 17 litres of fuel. Right, White Western Star, which one are you? The, no, you're not that one. Pick another. White Western Star, there you are down there. Oil for choice. Right, yeah, that's perfect. I backed him into there. Right, let's go. Once I've got to get out there. Without hitting any cars. A quick test of my reversing skills again. Nice and slow wins this one. Nice and slow. Keep control of that service trailer. Car, don't hit the car. I'm not going to hit the car. I refuse to hit the car. There we go. Time of day is getting a bit dark. So let's... Yeah, it's dinner time. So let's get it into the afternoon of the next day. So glad I brought this service trailer through. That was well worth the extra effort. Good you get. Here we go. This won't take long either. I would normally do a wee jump cut here, but to be honest, it's such a short bit of time, I might as well just drive. Rains back one for is that a third time? See my dairy. Eh, not my dairy, I can see my Mac defense. Right. 
easy up in the brakes. Don't hit the sign if you can help it. We'll park him. Right. Repair. Purpose trailer, 692 left. 1500. Oh. Yeah, repair him completely. I'm undamaged. Excellent. Fuel. My fuel tank to. Come on, okay. And still got the 80 on the roof. Perfect. Let's get fully off the road. Block this little road here. We'll leave a little gap just in case somebody wants to get out. The engine off. Truck. I do occasionally do a little bit of role playing there just to not block roads. Just keep it a little bit more real. There's definitely nobody coming out of there. Icest roads in the world. Right, come with me. Time to get you delivered. Seen that radar dish has got loads of bits out of it. Seen better days. Right, don't hit me, pay star, don't hit me. Your boy puts the engine on just to let him use his brakes. Don't hit me. Oh, really? Get ready, put his engine on just in case he's going to catch me up again. Like this, as as possible, engine on. Tactical use of his engine. I don't know how much fuel he's got. I should really check that. I need to remember Steve, Steve's trick. And before I drop him off, I need to steal all his fuel back out of him. He's all right back there, all right? Okay, let's get up this hill. Stay out as much of the nasty mud tracks as I can as we go straight into the worst part yet. Go on, Mac. That was actually quite decent. I think the Mac was a good choice for this little job, to be honest. The Derry Longhorn was possibly going to get used, but then I figured keeping him with the big trailer that he's attached to was probably the better choice. And since I have an abundance of other trucks, the Mac was the next best choice, I think. It's going to be quite a sense of achievement considering that I and the guys who have been doing co-op have all done this with vanilla vehicles and trailers. Because considering some of these jobs have been pretty hefty, my mod trailers like the six slot trailers would have come in mighty handy and some of the mod trucks 
also, so I suppose in a way, this is a it is a greater achievement for everybody. So a long way to go still, I suppose, but you know, even to get to this stage with vanilla, fair play. I wouldn't like to start on this map, this region, North Carolina, because I think with the amount of vehicles I've had to utilise to get where I am just now, if you were starting from scratch with next to nothing, this would be an absolute uh, chore to get it all done. And definitely not a beginner region. a little bit of mud and we're gonna be there in no time awesome I do like it when plans come together when this entrance because it's the entrance and not the exit right hold up there hold up up oh. right let's borrow your fuel a star had 113 so i wonder what he started maybe 120 130 but anyway thank you very much oh Totally emptied them. Okay. Yes, I know you're out of fuel. Sorry about that. It's a price you pay for getting delivered. There you go. Ooh. Let's just park it into this bay. Right. And uh, engine off. Slippery slope is now complete. We really appreciate this. Thanks a ton, and be careful out there. Don't repeat our mistakes. Oh, I guarantee I will. 5,100 cash, 420 XP, and we accept yet another job. That's us up to 320,000. I'm feeling a bit flush again. I did sell a dairy to get that uh, cash back. I was absolutely skint. Anyway, well done, Mac. Good job. I think we did rather well there. Three more con uh, tasks ticked off. So clearing down we've got how many more to do here we've got three more to do plus all the contracts i'm not even going to show you them there's lots so guys hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you'll join me for hopefully there'll be a next one will be a co-op back in north carolina you will see me again soon though bye for now